Hello, Jim Yagi here from AussieBillionaire.com. This tutorial is about autoresponders. I've had a few people ask me about how to use uh, an autoresponder uh, to build up their email marketing campaign. So I've decided to create a little demonstration of setting that up for yourself. Uh, if you head over to resources.aussiebillionaire.com, um, you will see a whole bunch of resources here on this page. Uh, scroll down to where it says Managed Autoresponder Service and click there. Now, autoresponders are a uh, simple way for you to keep that relationship with your leads, with the prospects that you bring into your system. A lot of traditional network marketers say that you can't build a network marketing business or a home business uh, by by building it online because you can't create warm friendly relationships with people online and this is how it can be done they're, they're just ignorant about how it's done uh, you can't use the traditional methods obviously but what we do is we create a relationship through communication through education with our prospects if you continue to uh, email them and they're reading your messages regularly as you guys have all been doing uh, you'll find that these people will eventually warm up to you and they start to uh, see you as a human as a normal human being as someone who can help them though you're positioned as an expert who can help them uh, build their businesses. So it's extremely important. Every single internet marketer knows that the secret to building a really successful business online is to keep that relationship with their prospects. And that is done by first capturing their details the way that you've been trained to do in the previous tutorials. Uh, but once you've got them in your marketing pipeline, you need to start writing to them. And for magnetic sponsoring, I've asked you to uh, send the first initial email that is just an introduction. For most people, you will not need to get an autoresponder right away. Uh, the reason is that you don't really have much to say to the people that are in your autoresponder. So you can manually do this and you don't need to go through the step. However, if you start getting, I don't know, uh, about 10 uh, to 20 prospects things start getting a little bit more tedious and so it depends on your tolerance level and uh, if you're willing to continue to manually email these people uh, one by one uh, if you are at that level where you're ready to now start an email campaign uh, where you, you want to store the people who come in as prospects to your system and you want to uh, you, you want to build that start building that relationship with them then you have to create this time based relationship so I'm going to show you how to do that now uh, with an autoresponder this particular autoresponder is the one that I'm using and the one that I recommend because uh, it is extremely affordable you can start uh, you can start off uh, for $29 a month uh, and in fact, your first month you you can get for free uh, because of this trial. Uh, it's a special offer that they have here. Um, the neat thing about this, though, is that you start out with the very basic building block, which is just the autoresponder. But as your business expands and grows into bigger uh, business, you start needing other tools. And it is extremely inconvenient for you to go and switch to another autoresponder later on, because then you've got to uh, you've got to import all your contacts and uh, copy over all your email marketing uh, to that new system. So it's a good idea to start with something that has the ability to expand right from the start. Um, I use uh, the One Shopping Cart autoresponder. Uh, it is one of the biggest names, uh, and it most importantly it has a high deliverability rate uh, you see these days with all the spam that's hitting people's email uh, boxes it is extremely important to make sure that your emails your communication is not lost in that spam directory of people's emails and 
unfortunately, it's a it's a sad fact that you'll always end up with some of your messages in the spam box of of people. Uh, so the idea is always to try to minimize that as much as possible because it doesn't make sense for you to uh, bring in a lead and then you then your email messages are just not reaching them because they're getting into their spam box so they don't see your communication and therefore you never get to build that relationship with them that will result in sales and uh, recruiting of distributors uh, so so that is probably the main point that you need to look out for when you when you do get an autoresponder service so um, on this on this particular autoresponder you can um, get started uh, from the free trial site. So I've created a um, demo account to show you how to do this. Uh, but once you log, once you've logged in, you should have something that looks like this. And if you go to the email and marketing menu, then go to autoresponders, and then either manage autoresponders or create autoresponder. So let's just go ahead and create an autoresponder first, because we don't have one just yet. Uh, first of all, you're going to give it a name. Let's call this your magnetic sponsoring autoresponder. It uh, has also this direct subscribe enabled um, option. We're going to leave it as no, but when you select this, this would allow you to um, have people join up by uh, sending an email into the autoresponder with just the just a blank email to uh, an address that they'll give you. If you press, if you choose yes, it'll actually um, give you a name, uh, an, a private email address. It's sort of secret, uh, and that that would be a way for you to then create subscriptions just by sending out an email from the address that wants to subscribe. Uh, in majority of cases, you'll not need to use it, so just keep it as no. And here you write the from email address. So I'm going to put my from email address, and that is the one that I'd like to appear on my e on my email messages as the the reply address where they can send messages back to me as well. And your from name is who do you want them to identify as the person that's emailing? So let's just write your own name there. Uh, we're going to leave it as not shareable. Uh, press save and this will create a brand new autoresponder. Uh, now you can have as many of these as you want to in your account. Uh, you would have a different autoresponder series for different email campaigns. So you might have one for your uh, network marketers and then you might have another one for your opportunity seekers because you want your opportunity seekers to get a different set of emails from your network marketers. You might even have another one for your downline where you're training your own downline. Uh, so this allows you to separate out these messages. Okay. Now the next thing that you want to do is to actually create your first message. Uh, you're presented with a, with an ad message uh, interface now. Uh, if you had other messages, you would be able to select them from this menu and uh, it would then load up that message and allow you to, to edit it. The next box here is the day's delay. Uh, 